how to add a Turnitin assignment or a Turnitin test uh, into your Sunlearn or your Moodle page. Right, so I'm logged into Sunlearn, into Moodle, in the browser, and I'm just here in my own little course. So you can do this in your academic course, but also if you are a facilitator or a um, staff member, you can do this in similar um, uh, courses. So the big thing about Moodle is first, remember to turn editing on so my editing is on now so I see different options and as you might know you just click on add an activity or resource that's the first thing and then you scroll down and there you see turn it in assignment 2 that is the activity that you need to um, add so I click on select and I click on add and then it opens up the dialog boxes for creating this assignment uh, one gives it a name, test for plagiarism, you can give a summary if you want to, uh, depending on how you want to use it, this case is just for, for testing, um, you know, quickly testing your own materials or maybe something you received quickly, so this is not really for exactly for student submissions, um, basically the, the defaults are, are fine, so submission type, any submission type uh, or file upload, in this case it doesn't matter the number of parts isn't so important if you're only to, uh, testing one but you could it could set up for example number of parts five and then test five um, different pieces of a thesis or a, a article or whatever so let's just keep it to one for now upload limit is 40 megabytes that's fine allow submission of any file type um, no is good because it then we know only the types that Turnitin can actually test uh, will be uploaded so PDF, um, Word, uh, rich text, etc. Display origin originality report to students. In this case, yes. Uh, although it could also be no because it's only the facilitator looking at the at the marks. The grades doesn't uh, matter. The auto refresh grade scores that is fine. It's all uh, basically default. Then one could describe the. Um, the assignments name and the star date and due date etc one could make it a very long time for example if you're setting up a kind of a system where you want to test the whole time um, let's make the post date also long now originality report options this is very important allow submissions after the due date yes generate reports immediately resubmissions allowed until due date it must be on because that's what what it saves time basically and here store student papers no repository or standard repository right so if it's student papers official then choose yes store it in the repository but if you're just testing something as a lecturer then choose no repository in that way it won't go and lie on the system and create um, difficulties later on then what you want to check for plagiarism is against all stored student papers yes the internet yes Against journals, periodicals, and publications, yes. So you're checking everything. Depending on bibliography or not, you exclude it, no. Exclude quoted material, no. In this setup, you get basically a raw view of this is the text of the the, the writer, and this is where that text exists elsewhere um, in the known internet, internet and also in this database. And then later on, we'd, one could uh, play around with it, etc. And so I click to save and save and return to course. Okay, now we've seen here that my um, assignment, my Tenetin assignment uh, was added. Right, so now we want to basically test it and or use it actually. So I click on test for plagiarism or whatever the link is that you uh, that you wanted to do. Right, so the, the link is there. Uh, before we can use it as a facilitator, if there's no students in your course, you first need to go and enroll yourself as a student in your course. And that's quite easy to do. So in your administration, course administration, you go to um, users. And then you go to enrolled, you enrolled users. And then you will see yourself there, in this case my name, and my role is facilitator. Now just next to that facilitator, that block there, you just click there and then you assign roles, assign yourself the role of student. Fantastic. And that is that is how you basically then become a student in your own course. And that way you can use Tenet in as it were for yourself.
Right, so I go back to my course homepage. Now that I've enrolled myself as a student in the course, and I'm back to my course homepage. Now I can actually click on the link um, that I created, Test for Plagiarism. And this is how it looks. Right. So this is the inbox, and you can see here now we've got the student, JP Bosman. And I can now, on behalf of this student, which is myself, <laughs> upload this paper that I want to test or this piece of text. And then you find this little um, upload little cloud. So I click on that. Right, and it's our submission type file upload, submission title and test, files to submit. I just click on that um, little button. I choose the file from my computer. Um, just choose anything, I guess. Final climate health. Uh, open, and I upload the file, and that's basically it. And I click add submission. Now remember, it's going to test it and turn it in. Uh, but it's not going to submit it to the student paper repository, which is which is quite important. Uh, one sees this digital receipt. Your submission has successfully been uploaded. That's wonderful. We can cl click the close button. There we go. And then once back here, you will first just see similarity pending. It will be gray, um, which means that it must first do its thing. And basically one can come back in a few minutes or an hour's time and then click on that little percentage to actually see the <clears throat> see the similarity mark and then view the report etc so i'm going to stop the video here hopefully that is useful uh, remember to just add it add yourself as a student to your own course um, know how to upload and then you can interrogate the similarity report that's eventually uh, created